propane fill. All right, found a bloke there. He's gonna fill up our propane right now. Yep, and we are back in San Carlos, which is kind of like home for us. We spent about two and a half months here last year, so coming back is kind of like a little bit of a homecoming. So while we're here, we thought we'd show you around town a little bit and give you a little introduction to the town. Oop. My name is Cesar Ivan Mendoza Ojeda. Eh, mi trabajo es oficial de seguridad en Puerto San Carlos, en Api San Carlos, Baja California Sur. Tengo 28 años viviendo aquí en Puerto San Carlos. In Baja California Sur, the small town of Puerto San Carlos is located right on the edge of Magdalena Bay. A small community of less than 10,000 people, this town is a special place. My name is Crispin Mendoza. I've been here for the last 50 years of my life. I was born in Mexicali. Mexicali? And when I was a little boy, my family moved down the Constitution. And then, like I say, when I was a young boy, I went to work in the States. And by the time I come back from the States, my family was living here. Mm -hmm. Was it much smaller back then? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it was only about a half a dozen houses in the main street right wow. now. Yes. This pole was built because next town, Constitution, it was a huge uh, far farming. So the people started to think, instead of holding all that transportation to La Paz or so all the way to Ensenada, yeah. why we don't make a port in here, we bring the chips in here and load up all the corn, all the wheat, okay. all the cotton, you know, and all those things. And you still live here, what is it, like 50 years later or whatever, so you must love it. I mean, it's a nice town. Not anymore. Not anymore? <laughs> it's a big city for me yeah. already. I wish it was the same way when I got here, you know. Uh -huh. It's a nice town, but I wish it, stay, it was the same way when I got here. Yeah. Although the town may seem big for Crispin, we absolutely love the small town feel here. There's a great community, everyone knows each other, and it's just a beautiful place. Sí, pues de hecho, pues es casi todas las personas aquí nos conocemos porque es un pueblo chico. This is mostly a family town, so you can walk around freely. You could do just about anything here, so. There are no big chain stores here, but you can get almost anything you need from one of the small markets in town. In search of the elusive button. Butter, it's hard to find. Yes. Soy jubilado de la escuela secundaria técnica 4. Sí. Aquí, ah. aquí en Puerto San Carlos. Okay. Sí. Oh, yo soy de, de Chetumal, Quintana Roo. Guillermo now runs the local bus station in town. But he first arrived in Puerto San Carlos in 1971 when he was stationed here with the Mexican Armada. Aquí me quedé, aquí conocí a mi esposa. He went on to tell me that after meeting his wife, who worked in a fish processing plant, he stayed. Along with the people, 
The magic of this town comes from the bay. Sí, claro, tiene Puerto San Carlos, pues tiene pues muchas cosas bonitas que que ver, por ejemplo, la bahía, pues es es grandísima la bahía. Pues tenemos el avistamiento de ballenas, avistamiento de aves, las dunas, las islas, los manglares. Sí, mucho. And it's all all the food you eat here, all the seafood is from our bay. It's from Magdalena Bay or from the Pacific. So we got all types of food. We got uh, scallops, clams, octopus, squid, lobster. lobster. You got. Yeah, how do you feel, lobster? You got yeah. crab. You got. You got just. It's one of the richest bays in the world. So yeah. it's. Uh, it's. It's very. This bay is very generous with us. It gives us seafood. It gives us tours. It gives us the daily living. So, so yeah. we try to take care of it. Well, on my on my part, I try to take yeah. care of it because it's giving me everything I need. So. With its proximity to Magdalena Bay and the Pacific Ocean, the main industry in town is fishing. The large dock here hosts a small fleet of fishing boats. This time of year is sardine season, and their catch is brought to one of the three processing plants in town to be used either for food or to be ground up for fertilizer. Well, he's going down to the factory in town. There are also many pangaros that go out day and night in their small fishing boats in search of shrimp, clams, crab, and fish. My name is Juan Manuel Sarabia Mendivich, and my work is for the moment observation of ballenas, buceo with tiburones, and we also have commercial commercial fishing, which is a cooperative. I asked Juan how the fishing industry was doing. La pesca, la, la pesca hay menos. menos. Hay menos porque el pueblo está creciendo. La población sí. es más grande. Sí. Entonces a veces la gente pues ocupa más permisos. Entonces es por eso que, que nosotros como, como cooperativa Sarabias optamos por, por la acuacultura. Nosotros tenemos eh, una concesión en el mar para sembrar este, pues, cayo de hacha, chocolate, sembrar un sostión que, que, que ayuden a la bahía, que se recupere un poco. Para, o sea, si tú vas a ir a pescar a la bahía y, y si el gobierno te dice tienes esta opción de sembrar en lugar de sacar, entonces nosotros, nosotros pensamos, bueno, hay que sembrar, o sea, hay que poner del mar. During the winter months, along with fishing, the town has a growing tourism industry centered around the gray whales that come here to give birth and raise their young. This weekend here in Puerto San Carlos is Ballenas de las... No. Festival de las Ballenas. <laughs> That's the one. Festival de las Ballenas. Whale Festival. Whale Festival. And it's like a little fair set up in town and a bunch of food stands and all. And they have like a princess they're going to crown tonight. So we're excited to check out. A whale out. princess, I guess. I guess or so. Diana's princess. So we're going to hang out here for the day and the night, check out the festival. We are at the whale festival. Festival de las Bienas. Yeah. I said that right. We just had some tacos. We're waiting for the crowning of the whale princess. Everyone's just kind of starting to show up. Of course, it's Mexico. Nothing starts till late at night. Yeah, it's almost 7.30 and nothing's really even getting going. But we've got all the carnival rides out here. There's a big stage. Not many people yet. We're really excited to check excited this out. Excited to check it out. Tomorrow we're going to head out of here. Lots of stuff. Como está San Carlos? Espero que estén bien y aguantando el frío esta bonita noche aquí en esta plaza tan hermosa de Puerto San Carlos a este bonito festival de la ballena gris y vamos a dar inicio con el programa artístico. Ustedes de ley. We were surprised to discover that the festival didn't really have too much to do with whales, other than being held in the peak of the season. 
Instead, it was more of just a big party and get together. The event of the year for the town. This has been getting closer and closer to us here. It looks like, like a fish pen, like an aqua pen that they use around here, but it's floating free. We don't know where it, it just showed up from out. Whoop, whoop. I'm just guessing it broke free a couple of days ago in the stronger winds. But there's a little bit of a breeze coming in now. This looks we're getting in mid-morning, which is bringing it a little bit closer to us. So we'll keep a little bit of an eye on it. We're heading up the mangroves today. That's all for this time. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode. We'll be heading out to visit the whales and also take a look at what the ecotourism industry has done for the town. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and check out our website or Patreon page to see how you can help keep these videos coming. Until next time, adios! This is Toby. He was just a little itty bitty puppy when we were here last. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ¿En español o en inglés? Ah, uh, inglés, por favor. Oh, en inglés. Bueno, español, español. Let me, let me see también. if I can speak a little bit English. <laughs> <laughs>